Facebook. Why are we creating this buzz and, you know, we're, you know, preaching Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Um, well, we know, obviously, you guys understand, and this, is, this slide's going to be really good for you, is generating traffic and advertising on Google is a complete hassle. Um, you, you know, you got to do all this keyword research, SEO, you know, you got to learn different tactics on how to, to, to get your campaigns, your AdSense to work or your, and all that stuff. And we know all that stuff. We've done that for years, but it's a lot of work. So if you want to make money today, you got to spend half the day trying to make money before the money comes in, right? Well, with Facebook, I can show you how you can do it with one or two clicks and boom, the money's there. Uh, and other app platform, uh, sorry, other platforms charge too much money. Like LinkedIn is ridiculous. I tried a campaign on there just for testing the other day and I got like 10 clicks and it cost me like 90 bucks. I was blown away. Um, Bing and Yahoo, like ad center and all that stuff. Yeah. There's ways to get cheap clicks on there, but it takes a lot of work and we all know plenty of fish just really doesn't convert at all unless you're a master at it and you're, you know, you're in the dating niche or something like that. Uh, little to no investment with Facebook. You got a free website, free advertising. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with Facebook. Uh, you can start marketing to the exact targeted audience you want to market to instantly. So it's not, you know, sitting around waiting for the traffic to come. Your target traffic is there right away. Um, and that's pretty much the best part about Facebook. And if you're new to online marketing or new to CPA marketing or new to PPC marketing or PPV or anything like that, um, your success rate is going to be really high compared to trying and going and getting on Google and all that stuff. Because, uh, I mean, I started out doing CPA and, and a little bit of traffic and stuff like that. And I almost got out of this business because I struggled at it. And a lot of people struggle at it and they don't understand. So if, if you take what we're going to give you tonight, it's going to, your success rate is going to go up at least 90% because it is that easy to do. Um, your research and prospecting is done on autopilot. And that kind of has to do with like the business end of it. Cause what we do is a ton of different ways to make money, but on the business end of it, you're re when you're researching stuff and you're trying to generate leads and prospecting it's done pretty much on autopilot. Uh, right now I was on a recent webinar where Zuckerberg was talking about an API glitch or something, but they have 750 million registered users right now. Um, a lot of guys are still saying 700. I don't know if there's a glitch in the API coming out of there or what, but it is about 750 as we speak. 50% uh, of those, these are kind of standard stats, 50% of those are users that log in daily and are super active. It was crazy. Pretty much, I do a lot of shopping with my wife and my daughter. And, you know, when you're walking through the mall, you see everybody's on Facebook, you know, on their mobile phone or on their iPad or whatever kind of uh, little pad they have. Um, so a lot of people literally log in and, and are sit on these things daily. Um, they're linked to at least 130 people, uh, friends, family, you know, colleagues, stuff like that. On average, the now this is kind of low, but on average, the users are linked to at least 80 pages, events, groups, applications, anything that has to do with Facebook. They're at least linked to 80 of those unique things, which is huge for marketers. Uh, Facebook's hosts 700 billion minutes a month. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't think anything else really other than TV can say that they host uh, a captured crowd for 700 billion minutes. That, that's ridiculous. Um, traffic for search and interaction struggle is, is more, it is totally different than, than Google and their search and interactions have surpassed Google. Um, so that is a huge stat. And that's why Google's literally scared out of their pants and they're trying to come up with new stuff. Um, and they're on track to do in 2012 a billion users, which at that point we we will have, if you take the 50% rule, well over 500,000 people to market to at any given time, which is simply amazing. So what you need to realize, and this is key to anything you do on Facebook, um, it is interruption marketing. It's hands down the best way to make money 100%, but it is interruption marketing. And you have to understand the difference between search and interruption. Interruption is you're basically putting yourself between A and B. Um, on Google, which is search you're trying to get from A to B. So we kind of interrupt what people are doing, get in the middle of it and make money um, and through social stuff and, and different ways of marketing. That's what we do. And that is literally the way to go to make money nowadays. And if you're not doing it, you're, it's simply uh, ridiculous. I'm just going to inject something here. Um, that's what I do is jump up on the soapbox with Mike Wentz in a while. Uh, for the guys who love the old time marketers like me, where Google is, kind of going home to mama in terms of where to find your market. There's a couple of things that we never really thought about Google. And, and one of the things about Google uh, for any advertising on Google is that Google knows absolutely nothing about the person looking at the computer. Now, this is something to think about for CPA people in particular. 
Google knows nothing about the person sitting in front of the computer. Google knows about the computer. It knows what browser you're using. It knows what pages that computer goes to. But it has no idea about the behaviors or interests of the actual user. Now, here's the thing to compare that to. Facebook, on the other hand, knows everything you talk about, who you talk to, what pages you like, what your interests are, not just the interest from your profile, but in your dialogue, the people you communicate with and the keywords that you use. Um, the other day we had uh, uh, the hockey finals, right? And I'm not really a hockey guy, which makes me a unique Canadian. I'm more of a martial arts sort of guy. But uh, what came up is there was some banter going on on Facebook and I made a comment about uh, our Vancouver team, which lost really badly as probably everybody knows here. And the very next Facebook page I was on down the right-hand side was all kinds of good hockey stuff for sale. So Facebook knows right away by who you're talking to, what you're saying, what pages you like, what conversations and pictures, images, and videos you like. It knows all about your behaviors because anytime you're on Facebook, you have to be logged in. Now, what's cool about that, as Mike will probably tell you later on, is Facebook is now capable of tracking your behaviors when you're not logged in on sites that are not part of the Facebook platform, which is even cooler for us, you know, as marketers, because we have so much information. And uh, sorry, Mike, I kind of stepped on you there. But just for the old time guys that are doing the Google stuff and trying to figure out why is Facebook better, uh, it's, it just is so much easier to target. Mike's going to show you how you can check a target market in about, what, three minutes, you can allow Facebook's engine to check your target market for you. Very cool. There yeah, you go, Mike. for sure. Yeah, no, that's good Good information. Like, everybody's jumping on that Google Plus thing right now, but, I mean, that's going to crash and it's going to fail like everything else. But that's the only way that Facebook – or Google – I'm on Facebook uh, – Google will know who's who on, on on Google. So unless you're signed into that while you're searching, they're never going to know what's going on, whereas Facebook had this developed from day one. So they're just trying to catch up years later. So that shows you uh, where they're at, which is <laughs> quite behind. Uh, okay, so so – when you know why should you care about Facebook? So when you when you begin using Facebook for business, you're positioning yourself in the middle of. I like to I like to call this as a turnaround. Now, if you're from the UK and stuff like that, these are very popular. They just put one in down the road from where I live. Uh, they're very rare in Canada, but these things. This is a perfect illustration of of how stuff's working. People are coming into this turnabout. You know, they're turning and waiting to get off on you know the next turn. You got to go right or left or whatever, and. Literally, you put yourself in the middle of that and can pick off those people as they're, you know, going around doing their thing, you know, socializing, commenting and stuff like that. You're picking off these people and making money from them. That's how easy it is. And that's why I love that illustration, because it is literally that easy. It is, it is crazy. Um, you're given the ability to build a no like and trust with your customer leads in a public arena, plus do this for almost free um, and position yourself as an expert. Now, these the thing is. People trust Facebook. They've already got this, uh, you know, this thing with Facebook. They're on it every day. It's basically a part of them. If people, there is, and this is true, people can't function unless they sign into Facebook at least once, twice, ten times, a hundred times a day. So people trust Facebook. And if you're marketing on Facebook, uh, you know, not spamming, but marketing properly, the way you know we're teaching you tonight. Um, people trust you and they believe that because you've posted something there, that advertisement, Google or Facebook approves it. So the no like and trust is built almost insanely like within seconds, like it is crazy. So you can literally take them from the page to your offer, to your bank account. Like that is the trust factor is there and that's why people are making money. And that's what we're going to show you tonight. Uh, interaction is instant. You get unlimited amounts of insights, like Ron was already saying. Um, the insights are insane, like right down to where people are almost standing on the street corner. You can market them. And you can get a reaction and feedback um, within seconds, within moments. So research, you know, I like to use the example of, uh, you know, a dairy or, a, a, you know, an ice cream parlor. If they wanted to feature, uh, a, you know, an ice cream of the day, they could get a response within seconds, within moments um, of posting to their page. And a lot 